Welker again on the counter, and that's going to ice it. Kylie Welker does close this one out. 13 to 2, your winner. And she's going to earn a spot on the junior world team competing this August in Ufa, Russia for the United States of America. And she left it all out on the mat. She's exhausted, but hats off to her for a great performance. She accepts her award from uh, women's developmental coach, Jessica Medina. So I believe three um, weights are gonna have match three, the third and decisive. First one gonna be 57 kilos. In the red, it's gonna be Jennifer Soto of California, her opponent, Claire DeCugno of Washington. DeCugno in the blue. Two on one here. Soto taking her towards the edge, trying to release that pressure. So it was Soto winning the first match, 7-4. DeCuno comes back and tech fall in the second. 11-0 finds us here in the third and decisive match. Another passive red call, that one on to Soto, or excuse me, on Soto. And Jennifer Soto will go on the shot clock. She's got 30 seconds to score or surrender a point. Kugno with the underhook, head position. Driving Soto around the mat a little bit. Jennifer Soto trying to make her way back to the center. One blue. And the shot clock expires. One point blue, first point on the board. Claire to Cugno. Oh, nice knee pull single there from Soto. She's in on the leg. She's jammed up a little bit underneath. She needs to continue moving. She's going to score from this position. Now trying to counter is the Cugno. She slocks through the crotch momentarily. She comes back to that lock. And they'll blow it dead. We'll come back to the center. 26 ticks till the break. And that's gonna do it. Time runs out in the first. We'll go to the break. Just the one point on the board. In favor of Claire de Cugno.
seven seconds. We pick up action here in period number two. And typically in a situation like this where you've just had one shot clock point into the second half, you see the other wrestler get warned for passivity and typically go on the clock. And indeed there it's gonna be but you want to do it early enough so that if it's 1-1, one, one, both have an opportunity to score an offensive point with some time left on the clock. And a shot, a second shot now. Dacuno in on the leg, circling around, coming out the back door. They let this one carry on. She circles in, now it's Soto in on the leg. Soto's in position to score. Nothing here though, she's got to pop her head. She gets her arm back around the outside of the leg and she's wrapped in on a, a standard traditional in, head inside single. Jammed up from that wizard though. One red. And one red gonna go on the point. Soto, that's the shot clock violation. Cunha's trying to pull that back and she's gonna expose it. There's two blue. And a great job being created by Claire Cunha. She was trailing on criteria just for a moment. She's gonna pick up another two with her legs. And one of the earliest lessons I learned as a wrestler was learn how to use your feet and hands, like arms like their legs, excuse me, excuse your legs like their arms. That's exactly what she did. And wrapping her up in a couple turns down to all of a sudden, and it's nine to one. Another one would finish it. And Claire DeCuno was able to use her feet and legs like their arms and hands. Expose her opponent's shoulders to the mat. Picks up some points and a couple of turns too. Now she's got a big lead, eight points as we're down to a minute 12 to go in this thing. Soto, hands on the leg, locked up, and it's gonna be a hip tip. Was that two? It's offered and confirmed. There it is. After dropping match number one, Claire DeCuno. Wins matches two and three, both of them by tech fall. And to earn a spot on the junior world team. Congratulations to Claire.